The Protect and Share Workbook feature is the exact same as the Shared Workbook feature, with one exception, of course, the Protect part. That means that you add security to it so nobody else can unshare it or stop sharing it or the track changes without a password. Sounds good? Because before this training video, if you didn't know anything about this, you'd come up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Changes group, click on Share Workbook, check Allow Changes by More Than One User, click Okie Dokie, click OK again, and you can see up in the title bars being shared. So if this is on the network, anybody who has access to this workbook on the network can open it up at the same time and come over here and say, uh, I don't want to share it. They can actually unshare what you're sharing. And that's not good because if they do that and they uncheck it and click okie dokie and say yes, then any changes I made after that person unshared it won't save back to that workbook. In which case, it'll force you to do a save as and say, well, you got to save it as something else, which is good because then you don't lose that work. So if you didn't want to lose the work, but it saved it as another workbook, how do you take all that and put it back into the original that was unshared? Well, you can watch my next training video on merging workbooks. Doesn't that just sound fun? In any case, let's go ahead and add some protection to it by coming back up here to the Changes group on the Review tab. And instead of sharing the workbook, we want to protect it and then share it. Click on Protect and Share. Check Sharing with Track Changes. And it says this shares your workbook and then prevents change tracking from being removed. If desired, a password must be chosen now prior to sharing the workbook. Because if you don't choose a password and you click OK, anybody can go ahead without a password and unshare it. So it has to be done in the beginning. You can't go back later and go, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and add the password. When you go ahead and you take the step, you got to add it now. Or when I click OK, and I click OK again, it's being shared. And I'm like, um, I'd like to add a password. Click on Share Workbook. They could come in here and they can't uncheck it to stop sharing it. But if they come over here to unprotect it, guess what? Then they can come back here and click on Share Workbook and uncheck it. So they could unprotect it without having a password. That's why it's important that when you click on Protect Shared Workbook in the beginning, because after I check it now and it's still being shared, I didn't do it in the beginning so it blocks it out. So long story short, again, let's go ahead and click Cancel, click on Share, uncheck it so I can take you back to the beginning. Say yes, we're going to unshare it. So up in the title bar, it doesn't say Shared that when you click on this, do it right then if you want a password, check it, and then put the password in. We'll type in boo, hit enter, type in boo again to confirm it, hit enter again, say OK. It's on the network, so when Carrie access this workbook on the network and goes, hmm, 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 I want to unshare it, click share workbook, oh, it's not available. Oh, wait a second, I watched Kurt's training video on this, it must be protected. Let's go ahead and see if they add a password by clicking on Unprotect Shared Workbook. Oh, drat. I have to have a password. So she can't do it, but I can. Type in boo, hit enter. Are you sure you want to unshare it? Say yes. And you can see up in the title bar, the title shared is no longer there. So it's no longer being shared. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.